that club face. These are create a Y with her body and her arms. This muscle works the lowest athlete in the world. Day. We are charting a new course for golf. It's time for Inside Golf. Hi again, everybody. Welcome to Inside Golf with Colleen Wolf, Harry Donahue. We're back in Myrtle Beach, about halfway through our tour of Myrtle Beach. And today, two spectacular courses, both in North Carolina, the That's North right. Carolina side, right? We have River's Edge and also Carolina National. Carolina National, beautiful, beautiful spot. And you know what else? It's part of, it's an Audubon Sanctuary facility. So the views are spectacular. There's wildlife everywhere. And where we are right now. How about these views? I know. <laughs> Not too bad of the marsh and the river right behind it. In fact, it's the first thing you notice when you drive into the parking Absolutely. lot. Absolutely. The view, views will just stop you in your tracks and you'll say, I can't wait to get out on this Arnold Palmer design. Coming up from Myrtle Beach, River's Edge, and Carolina National. Inside Golf has been brought to you by Yingling, America's oldest brewery and by Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where America goes to play. Visit online at phillytomyrtle.com and the Philadelphia Section PGA, celebrating 90 years. The Philadelphia Section of the PGA of America is celebrating 90 years. Since 1921, the professionals of the Philadelphia Section have proven themselves to be the players, teachers, managers, and stewards of the game of golf in the Philadelphia area. They are the experts in the game and business of golf. Please join us in celebrating our 90-year commitment to the game of golf. The region's only Fred Couple signature design facility, Carolina National showcases 27 holes surrounded by the natural beauty of Brunswick County. Carolina National attracts not only eager golfers, but droves of wildlife as well. As an Audubon certified sanctuary, it's easy to see why this course is a refuge for all. Back to nature, it's a very pristine setting here in rural Brunswick County. We're the furthest north course in Golf Holiday and the greater Grand Strand area. Um, we view it as a good thing. It's, it's as you saw riding around uh, the golf course, uh, we saw hawks, we saw red-headed woodpeckers, we saw uh, deer. Uh, the wildlife is abundant out here. It's, it's, it's a very quiet, uh, natural setting. As we mentioned, it is an Audubon Sanctuary golf course. Uh, we do adhere to the regulations uh, inherent in that, and it's, uh, we take that very seriously. But it's, it's, it's a little bit of a departure for many golf courses in the area in that it is so, I hate to keep using the word pristine, but it is a very pristine, uh, quiet, enjoyable setting. And even in the most relaxing atmosphere, these 27 holes will test any golfer. Well, three nines, each named after shorebirds, uh, egret, heron, and ibis. Um, egret and heron, a little bit longer than the ibis, but multiple tee placements in all the, all the holes. We can set it up on the black tees, which is the, the furthest of our five sets of tees here, and it'll challenge the best of golfers. It'll cha challenge Freddie. Um, you can go all the way down to the other end of the spectrum to the uh, white tees, which is the ladies' tees, with very few, if any, forced carries. So even the high handicapped gals can enjoy the golf course quite a bit. Bent grass greens, uh, Bermuda wall to wall for the rest. So spring and fall, peak of the golf season, our greens are in peak condition because it is a cooler season grass. But no matter what time of year it is, you can expect some of the best par threes in the area. Five is probably our signature hole. We have, we're blessed with some great par three holes here, but this is definitely it. We're out here on the rather pristine setting, the winding river and the marsh surrounding it. Five uh, features, as all our holes do, multiple tee placements. We have five sets of tees. We have the gold tees for the, for the low handicap golfers, uh, the black tees for the, still for the low handicap golfers. We're on the black tee on uh, number five, about 175 yard carry over the marsh about 200 yards to the center of the green. We have the uh, blue tees, which is where most of our club members and our golfers play from, off to the right, and then two more uh, tee placements over further right, um, the shortest of which for the ladies, the white tees, uh, there is no forced carry for that. That's one thing that's very nice out here. The ladies 
that don't play quite as, as well as others can kind of dribble the ball down the fairway and, and, uh, and still enjoy their round of golf. Well, we're on five, Ibis. Again, you see the wetlands, the marsh, and the winding river. We'll see that the green is right directly behind the green. 165 yard par three here from the black tees, or the gold tees rather. Um, you've got about 150 to 55 yards of carry from here. On this hole, you can actually see all the multiple tee placements all the way down to the white tee where the gals do have a very small carry across. Uh, we are on high ground here. The green is partially filled, bulkheaded up, partially high ground. Uh, good hole, um, not quite as difficult as five uh, uh, here and where we were before, but uh, just one of the, another one of the, the great par three holes we have on the uh, 27 holes here at Carolina National. Uh, you can set pin placements uh, to set the, the hole up very easy, or you can put it on the left side over there by, behind the bunker and adjacent to the river, and it uh, is all you want on this hole. Uh, we're out here on a rather clear morning with very little breeze, but you can imagine when you get a little wind going, this, this can be a challenge. A little shorter hole, but definitely still very much of a challenge. We're on 7 Ibis, nice par 5 hole. You can see here from the uh, um, black tee, we've got about 140 yards of carry across the water to the elevated fairway. Your target line is the large oak in the distance. It's uh, a subtle double dog leg um, beyond the first oak uh, target tree is a large red oak right directly in the fairway that you have to go around either side to the green but it's a it's a three shot hole at 530 yards um, some of the really long hitters possibly could could get home in two but it, it's it's going to take a pretty good pop off tee to get there uh, bunkers guard the green um, good solid par five hole uh, Fred Couples and Gene Bates did a good job in designing just a good, solid golf course. No gimmicks, but there's a lot of, a lot of uh, challenge in the holes. And we're on nine Ibis, par four, from the uh, gold tees here, 390, 394 yards. You actually have two fairways. The bunker down the middle, um, here's one where you don't want to hit it down the middle. You've got the shorter carry to the right fairway, a little more spacious. Uh, but if you choose the right fairway, you're going to be going across the bunkers um, and a little tougher second shot into the green. If you choose the tougher drive to the left with the smaller fairway, uh, it opens the green up so you have a much easier approach shot into the green. Um, somewhat unique. You see the trees in the fairways as well, the small uh, live oaks that uh, divide the, uh, the two separate fairways on this particular hole. Good golf hole, good finishing hole. We're on here in number nine, classic finishing hole, par five, 587 yards from the black tees, the back tees here. Uh, you've got about 200 yards of carry to the fairway, about 240 to the dog leg left. Um, from the back tees here, it takes, it's going to be a really long hitter to try to cut the dog leg and go with the bunkers. The play here is straight away. Um, and for the really long player that can knock the ball over the bunkers, then he does have a chance to go, to go at the green. It's, again, somewhat of a double dog leg with green off to the right. After the bare, fairway bends uh, left for the second shot, you'll see down there. But uh, ample, ample driving area out there. Uh, the key here is getting the distance in the right direction. Fortunately for Arthur and the rest of the staff, working at this course is just as enjoyable as playing around here. When you're here every day, you, you love the facility you're at, and, and we think a lot of it. But more importantly uh, to, to us is what everybody else thinks. And we do get rave reviews from the golfers, but Golf Digest magazine ranked us with, their, um, with a four and a half star rating out of five, which we're very proud of that. So when somebody else, especially experts like Golf Digest, give you that kind of recognition, it means a lot. All right, so let's run through the offerings here at Carolina National. Well, complete pro shop, as you would expect. The dining, snack bar, locker rooms, uh, shower facilities with towels. We'll even give you a towel if you want to take a shower. <laughs> so it's, it's a nice country club setting in this, in this residential development. And not many things work up an appetite like a day on this Myrtle Beach course. So what's on the menu? 
pretty much anything you want. We do evening dining two nights a week, fine dining uh, one night a week. George is a, a culinary master. Lunch, homemade soups, uh, pretty much anything you think of for a country club lunch. So if you're coming out to play the entire, entire 27 holes, you can spend the day and really enjoy yourself out here from a meal to the golf to a shower after the round if you want in our locker room. If you're coming down from the north, if you're driving in, if you're coming from the northeast, the midwest, or the mid-Atlantic, you're coming down out of the 95 or 85, um, then 95 on down. And the best way to get to the beach now with the new roads west of Myrtle Beach is to get off on I-40, go through Wilmington, there's a shortcut around Wilmington, you're kind of spelling out on 17 here, that's the gateway to, to, to the Myrtle Beach area. We're the fur as I said, we're the furthest north course, the, you can play your way in, get you an extra round of golf on the way in, or on the day you're leaving, get up early, play a round of golf, and you're that much closer to your final destination. So a lot of golfers do that, it's kind of fun. Whether you are playing in or playing out of Myrtle Beach, Arthur wants to be sure that you leave wanting more. One, want to leave feeling like they had a good day of golf at the golf course and enjoy themselves and there's a value. But what we want them to say is, well, this is a must play for our next trip back to, to the area. That's what we want them to say. And from Carolina National, we're coming right here to River's Edge. We're going to take a look at the signature hole, the ninth, the green's right over my shoulder. We'll be talking to Bobby McCrimmon about it. He's the director of golf. That's next on Inside Golf from Myrtle Beach.